Pinsetan comes from the word pinset, a local term for shrimp. Shrimps are among the abundant sea products of Vermont, as heated bounds with waters. The Pinsetan folk dance is originated from Vermont City. This folk dance is classified as non-religious. The male dancer portrays the fisherman role in the middle part of the dance. Dancers both wave their arms up and down, up also at the same time this movement represents the shrimp. The graceful execution of hands mimics the fisherman's movement in catching shrimp. The female wear orange color of barotsaya which represents the color of the shrimps when cooked. While the male dancer wear camisito chino as it portrays the fisherman. This signifies the liveliness of Romacan and fishermen and the bounty of harvest in the city. The basic step are cut step, hop, sarok, hands on waist, and step. Time signature is 2 over 2. Count of the dance is 16 counts. This is how Pansat and Pok Dance is being danced.
So after the after performing the pansata and folk dance, um, here are two questions that needed to be answered. Okay, so the question number one is, what are the potential benefits of performing folk dance in terms of physical activities toward health and fitness? So in my own, um, the different benefits or potential benefits in performing folk dances in terms of physical activities towards health is uh, are um, it improves the condition of our hearts and lungs it will increase the muscular strength our muscular strength endurance and our motor fitness and also it improves our muscular tone and it also helps to increase our aerobic fitness and also a better coordination uh, agility and flexibility so the second question goes like this. So the second question is, how can you preserve and promote Philippine folk dance to the evolving future generation? So um, I think uh, we can preserve and promote our Philippine folk dance just like what we have done or what the Dep Ed done, Department of Education done for elementary students that they have to perform a, a folk dance during the graduation day because in that way we can preserve and we can promote and we can also uh, show to the other people the our Philippine folk dance and because it is the treasure that we only have the our folk dance thoughts about our history, our culture and traditions, and that is the significance of our, or of the folk dance. <laughs> and it must, or we must teach and nurture our folk dance because uh, it, is reflect, it is reflected to our identity as a Filipino. And I think that would be all, and thank you.